Hey guys, Desolator Magic here. Just want to make a quick video updating you on a situation or two or three on MTG Arena. Honestly, I would actually stay off Arena for a couple days, and I think some of the devs might have kind of mirrored what I'm saying. It's legitimately that bad, but uh, the first one, in all likelihood, is your fault if it happened to you, but not necessarily. So there's what they're saying and there's what I assume they're doing. Let's go with what I assume they're doing. So apparently some offensive usernames were getting past their basic filters. So they probably just went to a third party provider and bought or rented the use of their uh, word filter technology. They're a dime a dozen. They ain't even that expensive. So then they ran it against a player database, found a bunch of offensive player names and uh, then reset them. And uh, I believe they reset them to just player and then like six numbers. So if you've seen them, it's not a bot or anything. It's just some idiot with a highly offensive uh, username or lowly offensive username. I saw some of them. And uh, I only looked up one example on the forums and people went back and forth and finally just said, well, what was your username? It was like sexy something like sexy panda or something like that. Bitch, are you dumb? Oh, it's so unfair. There was nothing wrong with it. Really? You think it was a false positive, do ya? You don't see why it might have been caught up in some kind of word filter. Really? So, sorry to all the sexy pandas out there, but you just got your stupid username uh, reset. But there are some people saying, like, legit, it was just like an accidental, um, like, placement of words and a gap with a space, and then, like, the first word and the second word kind of made something... Well, bad luck for you. And there's this whole process about how to like change it back. And I think you got to like send an email or something. It's not like you just log into the game and like pick a new username. So some people are pissed. Actually, most people are pissed, but uh, quite a large percentage of them deserved it. So stop picking out stupid, lewd, inappropriate, offensive names, you idiots. Second, um, I've heard small reports. And of course, it's uh, probably all over the forums at this point. After the latest patch, which was a fairly urgent one, um, some people are getting their accounts fully reset and it's, it's not like the forum mods are saying, Oh, well you were caught cheating or your account was deleted on purpose. I haven't heard any word from them. So who knows? But, um, this has happened before. I mean, uh, it was before the actual full wipe. People were saying, Oh, I logged in after a patch and my account was wiped. What the hell? And, uh, then they did admit it was like an accident and you know, it's a beta whatever. But, uh, hey, if you contact support, they'll be able to do some kind of rollback or restore something. And I, th I think, worst case, they probably just provide you with, like, 25,000 gems or something nice, you know. Actually, probably more. Boy, at this point, you'd have a hell of a collection. So, sucks if that was you. But, yeah, kind of making me not want to play. And then the third problem with Arena, and this was so weird because, um, like, it was bad enough that the game was brought down for maintenance, I think, at least, like, once or twice today. I know I got caught up in one. But uh, people were getting disconnected constantly, I guess. I don't know. Like, people were reporting all different problems. Like, massive disconnections. They're, they're getting disconnected in the middle of games. Other people were saying they were getting dis disconnected at the end of every game. Which, I mean, you gotta wonder if those two go together. Because I'm a programmer. And if I was the one troubleshooting this, I'd think, okay, some people are getting their account data wiped. And when you take a result of a match and try to do a thing that updates the amount of gold you have or the amount of cards you have so in other words your player data and then it freezes and crashes or disconnects the game that might be the same glitch in fact i would even go as far as to probably draw the conclusion without real strong evidence that the people who were getting disconnected constantly it didn't like something about their player data and when they patched it their player data was just simply marked as invalid and it just loaded a default blank profile when you logged in so They'll probably do a mass rollback, but like, I guess wait a day maybe, and maybe like then contact support because they're probably so flooded right now that it's not going to get addressed for a day anyway. So if they just fix it in a big rollback, then who cares? They'll, you know, they'll fix everybody at once, but do not continue to play with a blank profile. So I did see a statement somewhere. I don't know if it was Twitter or on the forum somewhere. Um, one of the admins or devs or something said, uh, they just recommend people don't play for now. Like if you're experiencing the problems, just legitimately stop playing the game for a bit because you're kind of in danger they stopped short of saying that but i mean read between the lines you know what i mean and then of course they ended it with remember everybody it's a beta you know it's gonna have some glitches they're rolling out stuff and it's not the full release yet which i mean come on it's pretty much a full release but you know i, I also agree with the assessment that it wasn't 100 percent ready so it's like yeah they do have a point 
So nobody get too hating on them. I know people were like losing their minds over the reset. They're like, oh, my progress, my progress. They told you there was going to be a reset months ahead of time. I think they told you when the beta was, you know, when you were still signing up for it. Not their fault if you skipped past and didn't read it, but I think they presented it as, hey, this will be reset before the final release, which we're still not at. But by the way, there is going to be no second big wipe. Uh, they did say that. So your data now is there unless it just got deleted. So anyway, when hundreds, if not thousands, if not more people were reporting constant disconnections, um, I wasn't seeing any of that. I was in the middle of playing and then all of a sudden I saw that and I'm like, yeah, I probably should stop playing, but I haven't gotten disconnected. And then I kept playing and I had absolutely no crashes, no disconnections, no disruptions at all. So that was weird. I guess it just selectively affected certain people. I don't know. In case you missed it in my other video, you can redeem multiple codes from the gift pack that just came out today. So if you get your hands on a code card because somebody didn't want one or you bought a gift pack, you can redeem multiple for multiple sets of one of each of the five cards. So ended on uh, good news there, but otherwise, yeah, rough time for Arena. Maybe just play something else for a day or two. Uh, it'll be there when you get back and uh, maybe watch for like an all clear on Twitter or something. Not for me. I don't freaking use Twitter anymore from the dev team. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next disaster.